All right, Hashtag Nation, welcome to the first episode of the Friday Film Room with Hashtag Sports here. Nation, you guys uh, came in pretty good on the community tab and uh, let us know what you guys wanted to see. So I, I've been kind of picking and choosing a few plays here and there that the Buffalo Bills have run that I, I felt needed a little bit more emphasis, a little bit uh, more study, and to kind of break down certain things that happen that you may not notice in the game. Now this... <laughs> play against the Jets that ended up going for a 20-yard run by Singletary. Singletary is coming back, so I figured I'd focus on him. But what I wanted to highlight here in, in a couple of these plays is that uh, there are multiple, even though this play is run and is run for a successful gain, this, this play came about due to the defensive breakdowns of the New York Jets and not necessarily what the Buffalo Bills did. So as I play it, you start to see uh, Singletary will run to your right, Morrison Spain will pull, and he ends up getting out in the open for a 20-yard gain. It looks like a very successful play. 20 yards, great. The Bills did their job. That was awesome play. As we run it back, like I said, you're going to see some multiple defensive breakdowns by the Jets that end up causing this play to be successful. First off, let's start with the left side of the line. Okay, you got Feliciano and Ford over here. You have the defensive tackle lined up. You have defensive end lined up wide. Now, because you have jet motion coming across the formation, that jet is going to hold this end. So Ford doesn't have to touch him. So as this play goes through, you see it, he goes with him. He holds him. So that's the first thing. Ford ends up blocking down on the defensive tackle, allowing Feliciano to kind of reach inside to do anything Anything that spills over, he's able to pick up. Number two, you got this linebacker right here. Now he is, co he is covering both cutback lanes, whether or not Singletary runs to this side or he runs to the other side, this 46 is there to fill, stuff the play in the hole. So he starts, as soon as the, the Bills line starts to move and, and go that way, you start him start to, you see him start to kind of flinch, but he's, he's got to stay, he's got to respect this jet motion first. As we go through, like I said, we have Morse and Spain are going to be pulling on this play. The Jets are in a 4-3 over front. Now, over front means that this defensive tackle is in what they call a three technique right here. The thing that benefits the Buffalo Bills in this play is that the defensive tackle and the defensive end here stunt inside, which means they're going to go straight in to their left. They're going to go straight in. Boom, boom. Okay, they boom right inside. Now, why this is important for the Buff what the Buffalo Bills are trying to do is that you have Dawkins and Smith here. They want to wash everybody inside. So they're actually doing their job for them. This defensive end goes in. That's exactly where Smith wants to take them. This defensive tackle goes in. That's where Dawkins wants to take them. So they're just going to push those guys inside and wash them inside. They're, they're not even going to be a factor in the play. You see Morse get out there. You see Spain get out there. Now here's where the defensive breakdown of the Jets comes into play. Jamal Adams, you can't see him. He's on the right side of your screen. He is the end man on the line of scrimmage. If you see a pulling guard coming at you, you're supposed to wrong arm this play. Adams does not do that. Now, what wrong arming means is that Adams is supposed to take his right arm and bury it into the lower region of Quentin Spain right here. Easier said than done. What he's supposed to do is he's supposed to try, try to dive and submarine this play in the backfield. What that does is it's going to force Singletary to try to bounce it outside. He can't cut it inside of him. Why is that important? Well, the other defensive breakdown for the Jets comes in right here. Mosley. He doesn't read his keys. He is staring at this Jet. And he actually takes a step to his left. If we look at Mosley, 57 here for a second, he'll actually, as this play goes through, he'll take a little shuffle step to his left. He looks lost. Pay all that money for a linebacker, he goes inside on you. So what he's supposed to do, Mosley and Adams, their two best players on defense, both missed their assignments on this play, and this is why the Bills are able to generate a gain that they are. So if I go back to the start, before Spain and Moore start to pull, if, you, if he's reading his keys, if Mosley's reading his keys, which is this guard in this center, once they pick their hand up and start to pull that way, Mosley should be already going this way. His linebacker right here, number 46, is already playing the cutback lane. He doesn't have to worry about that. So if he's over top of this, and Adam submarine Spain, Singletary is going to have to bounce this ball outside, and, and Mosley, even though he's here, he's supposed to be about right here. Okay. Now, whether or not Morse gets him is, is another story. However, 
if Adams submarines this in the back, Morse has nowhere to go. This 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 play should have went for no gain, honestly. It really should have went for no gain. But because the Jets played it poorly, it ended up being a 20-yard gain. But here's the other thing I want to I want to bring to light. Football is and for forever be a numbers game. You look, if Spain, if you count Spain as pulling, okay, you have Dawkins and two tight ends for four guys over here. That's not the numbers game. Allen's looking that way. He knows he wants to run that way. Now, he probably thinks that these three guys and these two guys pull and you have the numbers. True. He could be thinking that. However, the safer play could have been if he could have had a chance to audible this play to come this way. Not not to the, the screen's right, but to the screen's left. If he's able to call that play, you see Morse and Feliciano will double on this lineman. Ford is able to go to the second level to take this linebacker. But first, what he's going to do is he's, he's going to punch this defensive end just with his right hand and then go to the second level. As this progresses, the defensive end has to respect the jet. These Morrison and Feliciano could have taken 95. Singletary comes this way. Ford goes to the second level. The defensive end has to respect that. He can't arm tackle Singletary. And what you would see is this gap, unbelievably, I know because the play is going this way. I understand that. But if the play was to come this way, he seals off this linebacker and the the defensive back, the safety for the Jets was playing like 20 yards back. No one would have touched Singletary for at least 20 yards in this play. These are some of the things that is kind of concerning when you look at it. Even though this play netted a positive gain against teams that are more technically disciplined, I know it's the first game of the year, but against teams that are more technically disciplined, this end man on the line of scrimmage is going to submarine that play, and then the linebacker is going to come over top. It, 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 should, it should have really yielded no gain. And I'm not really being a negative Nancy on this. I'm just trying to show you that some of these plays that appear to be very positive plays for the Buffalo Bills sometimes can just uh, end up in no gain. And when you start playing teams in the seventh, eighth week of the season, those are some of the things that can kill you. Hopefully you guys like the first edition of the Friday Film Room. And um, we'll try to get these out uh, basically on the players that you guys want and the plays that you guys want to see. Uh, moving forward so thank you guys for watching and go bills